Hey, this is Joe Peak, Head Strength and Conditioning Coach here at CrossFit Jacked, which basically means I help people become more stronger, more mobile, all while dropping pounds of fat. And today I want to talk to you about a question I get asked quite often is how much weight to use in a Metcon or in a, a workout of the day. Uh, so typically what happens is we'll get, be getting ready for a workout and somebody will ask, well, how much weight should I use? I know when I first started doing CrossFit and I would come into a class and I would not know how much weight to put on the bar for a workout. There is the RX weight, which is the prescribed weight for the workout. But if you can't do that prescribed weight, if that weight's too heavy, what are you left to do? So I know it's frustrating for me when I would ask the question and then I would hear from the coach, I don't know. Well, if the coach doesn't know, how the hell am I supposed to know? So here's how you should think about this. Now, a Metcon is to work your aerobic capacity. So if we're trying to work our aerobic capacity, we want to move as quickly as possible. And in order to move as quickly as possible, we cannot put a one rep max on the barbell and expect to be able to move proficiently. So the way we should think about a Metcon is working at 60 to 70% of our one rep max. So uh, here's how we do it at CrossFit Jack. Uh, how we do that is we'll typically work a strength and then go into a uh, workout of the day or a high intensity workout right after our strength movement. Typically that strength movement will be a portion of um, the, the Metcon. So let's say we're doing front squat for strength one day. Typically that front squat will show up in the workout right following after that. So um, if we're doing, let's say, a three rep max on our front squat, um, and let's say your uh, three rep max is 100 pounds, well, you might have a 110, 115 pound front squat. So take that, take 65, 60%, 70% of that, and then scale it down that way. So I hope this helps you. Um, so when you're thinking about what weight should I use on the barbell, 60 to 70%, it is a win. So um, don't go any heavier than that. You want to build up that aerobic capacity. There's no other way to do it other than to reduce that weight, move proficiently and quickly. Until next time, stay jacked, stay strong.